Hey guys, this is Michael Chin and welcome to my live day trading series. You'll be getting first class access to all of my live trades I take in my morning trading session with some commentary on my thoughts and setups. So if you're interested in learning how to day trade and want to follow along, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And if at any time you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to help you. All right, let's get on to the stock market. Okay, it is Thursday, January 30th, 2020, and this is the 2000 tick chart for the S&P 500 futures. It's around 6.17 a.m. right now. It's a little late for me. I usually like to get in around 5.30 a.m., but work has been a little hard for me, so um, I have been sleeping a little late. Uh, hopefully next week I can come in a little earlier. But right now I'm just setting up the charts. You know, I like to figure out where the highs and the lows are for the day. And then I like to look at the opening trend. So right now we see that there was you know, a huge move down in the overnight session. We are still in pre-market right now. The US uh, stock market will open around 6.30 a.m. Pacific time. And prices are slowly in consolidation right now. So what I would be looking for is, you know, we are testing these lows. Maybe we could break down lower, but again, uh, this could also bottom out and could start reversing up as well. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is we did have this big move overnight, so be prepared for a similar move like that as continuation. So now the markets have been open for around five minutes or so, and we can see that prices are starting to test this upper trend line. And what you might think is like, okay, so there's a two-legged move here. Uh, prices are probably going to come down, and you know that's pretty typical of prices, right? Prices like to move in pairs of twos. So that's what's gonna happen here. But actually, if you start to see this pattern and the overall trend, it's actually starting to bottom. And so what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna try and buy uh, all of these uh, stop orders. So everyone who went short right here, I'm buying their orders and basically helping them ease out of their position because they are trapped right now and they wanna get out as soon as possible. So I put in a buy stop right here we get filled and I'm looking for a one point scalp. I'm a scalp trader and I only look for these high, you know, 95% to 100% win rate trades that will get me at least one point in the AS. <clears throat> so this position went by pretty quickly. I think it took around 20 seconds for us to get filled. And now we have uh, one of our contracts continues, go, continues to go as a runner. So if we look at this setup again, remember prices like to move in pairs of two. So what traders were thinking where they were like, okay, prices came back to this trend line and it looks like I could sell here and I could see prices continue to go lower. But what they didn't see was that the overall trend was starting to turn up. And so this wasn't really a good place to go short and it was kind of like a false signal for them. So what's gonna happen is because of that false signal, all of these people that went short, you know, they're going to get trapped and as soon as it starts to reverse on them, they're going to panic and they're going to buy to cover their position. So we get swept in this trade. We get the one point and actually our runner is looking pretty good here. The only thing that I'm afraid of now is, you know, prices could swing back down. A lot of times the markets like to fake these breakouts, you know, so they're going to fake the sell, but then they're also going to fake the breakout. So do you have to be a little careful here at any point? Prices could just rip down lower. So I actually trailed my stop here. Might have been a mistake, but I like to take the quick profits. That's an easy $250 on this first trade and we are one zero for the day. Okay, well, it looks like prices have really ran up. This is where I got stopped out of my runner. Probably should have just let it come up to the top of this trend line here and then sold up here. Uh, I think that's a mistake on my part, just getting you know a little anxious about taking the profits quickly. But now that we're at the top of the trend line, you know, you could see us come back and test the bottom. And so what I want to do here is I wanted to sell the moment we see selling pressure start to happen. Because basically, you know, when you have this trend line, right, you're looking for us to just continuously zigzag up and down. So I do put in my stop order here and 
think I just get a little afraid. Like it doesn't look completely bullish to me. I probably wanted would have wanted to see like you know a uh, more red bar here, but for whatever reason, you know, I kind of get I panic and I close my order, which you know it's uh it's just maybe you know it's a small mistake. It happens. There's a lot of times, you know, where I do put in my order and I'm like, okay, I think this is where the next trade is going to be. I think this is, you know, a good trade to see some selling pressure. And then at the last second, I'll just take it out. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have taken this trade. You know, it looks like we are definitely extended here. We did come off the top here. You know, this is a good place. And we would have gotten the one point scalp if you do see prices moving down like this. So, you know, it happens. That's day trading. That's, I mean, that's trading in general, right? You make some hesitations, but sometimes the hesitations are good, right? And there's a reason why I'm hesitating. It's because I don't think it's a, you know, 95% win rate plus trade. You know, this one might have been like a 85% trade. So it's really hard to say. So almost an hour has passed since that last trade. And, you know, as you can see, Prices did immediately swing back up, so it is a little dangerous right here, but now we've kind of gone into this consolidation and chop. And what I'm really looking for now is that we've tested the top, I'm looking for us to test the bottom. So what I'm seeing right now is I'm seeing, you know, prices trying to make this two-legged move up. Remember, I like to see these two-legged moves. So we see prices go up once and they're trying to go up a second time. So what's going to happen here is that I see that traders thought that they could buy here and expect to go up here, but I'm going to take out their stop losses and help them ease out of their trapped position. So here we go. All of these traders just got trapped. Now they're fleeing and panicking for their life. They're scurrying around trying to get out. Oh man, like I messed up. Why is it reversing? Why is it not going up? And I'm coming in here to, you know, Help them move on with their life. There we go. So that was a pretty painless trade. Got a one point scalp. And now you might be asking, okay, Michael, like, you know, you wanted to see prices come down and touch the support. So why not we why don't we go for a couple more points? Well, there's something in the S&P 500 futures known as a scalper's profit. And that's what most scalpers go for. And that's that's a one point scalp. And so what you're going to see is that after a one point move, you know, whether it be in the up or down direction after these types of setups, there will be some covering, right? So if you look back at this old trade here, they got the one point scalp and then immediately prices reverse. So going for one point is the highest win percent chance. Sure, I could have gone for more points here and it definitely would have worked out, but that's not my setup. So we still have the runner now and hopefully we can test the bottom of this trend line. There is some support here that we do have to watch out for, but you know, I did mess up on this old runner back here, so I uh, don't want to make that same mistake of missing out on this extra, what is this, one, two, three, four, like five points, so that's an extra $250 that I missed out because, you know, I panicked. So right here, if we, you know, we made it all the way down to the bottom of this trend line, that's one, two, three, four, five, six points, so it's... You know, three hundred dollars potentially we could make on this single trade, and it's been quite a grind. As you see, there's been a lot of bars developing. This runner is still alive, but it looks like prices are now starting to bottom here, and they are probably going to reverse up. So I'm trailing my stop pretty aggressively here. 
just in case you know prices start to rocket up i want to capture whatever this is like it looks like two points of gains so that's like a hundred dollars on this runner that i want to keep in my wallet <laughs> And I mean, it sucks looking at this, but there's really no point in moving my buy stop up further. You know, what if prices could go up and tap that too? So it's it's really about holding on to the money that you've earned. So there you go. The runner got kicked out. Um, it's a shame, but we are up <clears throat> $500 today on two trades, I believe. So we, we did the, um, the first one back here. And then we did this short over here. So two zero for the day. I did have this missed trade here. We could have been three zero, but you know, what can you do? And now prices have really started to sell off. So we got kicked out of a runner up here. <laughs> Once again, you know, that sucks. I, I maybe could have just held it at the break even and we would have taken in. Oh my God, I don't want to think about this. Like another 10 points, another $500. That, that would be crazy. That would just like double our profits for the day, but now we've uh, started a bottom here, as you can see, and we're making that two-legged move down. So as I always like to say, traders like to see two-legged two patterns. And so tons of people are coming in here to sell, thinking that, oh, you know, I missed this whole trend, but I can get in here and I can get, I can get the, the later half of the trend. Well, unfortunately for those guys, there is no going to be no later half of the trend. If we can come up and break out here, then all of these traders are going to start panicking and they're going to reverse their positions. So I put in my buy stop right up here where their stop losses are going to be and I'm going to wait for them to get trapped. And the good thing about this too is, you know, I'm not in this position, right? The market could just plummet. These traders could get it right, but I'm not going to lose any money because I haven't been filled yet. I'm only going to get filled when they start panicking. So there we go. We get filled. And we're looking for that one point scalp up. And there we go. So they're, they're shuffling around in their positions. You know, they're like, oh man, like I, I got, I got the trend wrong. What am I going to do now? Okay, so we got our one point scalp here. I'm uh, gonna move my stop up to break even and see if we can get anywhere on this runner. And at this point, we're 3 0. It's, you know, about 8 10 a.m. So I usually stop at around 8 30 a.m. or 9 a.m. So I'm gonna watch this runner, cross my fingers, it goes far. But after this, I actually don't take any other trades. The market really just starts to slow down. It starts to grind up higher. And, you know, while it is trending really well, there aren't a lot of good scalping setups that I see. So one thing that you have to understand about, you know, scalping versus swing trading, right? So swing trading is going to be looking for these big swings and these big trends and trying to capture the whole thing. Well, for me, scalping is just going to be trying to look for these small opportunities that are high win percents to you know get one point. Well, if the market is just trending, there's usually not going to be a lot of good scalping positions that you can see that have this high win percent. The market's you know it's just going to be moving up and up and up, and there's not going to be a lot of these like traps. There's not going to be a lot of these pullbacks. So it you know it's hard to make money in a trending like super trending market if you're a scalp trader. So there we go. Our runner gets taken out. We are three zero for the day, and we are up six hundred fifty dollars. A lot of that you know it's due to those nice runners that we've had. But man, if we, you know if I had just kept this one at break even right here, oh we could have gotten like sixteen points. You know, it's it's tough to think about that, but it's definitely early, early in my journey of trading. And, you know, I think I'll slowly get better at this. And, you know, one day you're going to see me capture this whole thing. 
All right, and that's the end of this day trading video. I hope you guys learned a lot. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me or comment below and I'll be happy to help. And remember, this is a series, so I will be posting as often as I can. So if you're interested in learning more about day trading, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. But remember, I do work a full-time job, so these videos are gonna come up as time permits for me. Sometimes I have to work late and I won't be able to make the video. And as for that, I will see you guys at the next video. Happy trading.